we have two guests in the studio, athletes, of course. You have the second fastest Nigerian uh, in the world right now in the 200 meters and also the, the fastest Nigerian in the 400 meters this year. He's also in the studio. And these two athletes have made it to the African Games coming up in August because they've been able to meet the time. But then they're working towards making the one for the World Championships, which we know is very, very high. Jerry Jackba is in the studio and also Emmanuel Ojili. Jerry, good morning. It's good to have you. I will do first. <laughs> How's it been for you? Yeah, it's been, it's been a merry ride for me here. Yeah. Merry ride. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Emmanuel, welcome to the show. Yeah, good morning. Good to have you guys here. Thank you. Okay. You know, <laughs> usually when, when people see athletes uh, beginning to make waves, they're tempted to ask, how did it all start? You know, on the average, most boys want to play football, on the average. <laughs> you know, so um, I'll start with Jerry as well. Why athletics? Why do you, what, was it, did you stumble on it or it was always going to be athletics from the beginning? Well, for me, I just, like you said, on the average, everybody loves football and everybody starts with football in Nigeria. So for me, it was it was mainly about football. I went to boarding school and I just I was so focused on football and enjoying myself. I always loved sports, but I wasn't particular about athletics. It was not up till when I got to my um, final year of high school, uh, my SS3. That's when I started picking interest into athletics. I did my inter sports and I won a couple of events at my inter sports, and then I moved out of school and I decided to pursue athletics professionally because I felt like football had too many, too many people and mm -hmm. I focused on athletics and so far so good it has been a great experience. Okay, uh, Imano, your, your own story? Mm, no, I don't have... Story. I don't have a story. <laughs> There's no way. How did you start? How did you I mean, start? Did you just wake story. up one day and started running or something. Um, I started from my secondary school okay. when I was in SS2. I had, a, I had a friend called Kelechi. You know, when we are doing practice, we want to go for invitation relay. You know, he's the one training us in school back then. So, you know, <laughs> you do set us and later you, you come out and you, you catch us and you just leave us like that. I say, ah, bros, I want to start running like you. You know, you now told me that, okay, this is what you will do. You come to my training. You come to where I train. Okay. And the rest. So, and I, so there was a day I, I got home. I called my mom. I, I told him that, Mommy, say, I want to start um, athletics. I want to start running. And Mommy said, eh, This is what you want to do. I said, Yes. Um, and, I got, and, um, and I got home. I told I, and I called him on the phone. I told him that I want to, I want to follow him to the mm -hmm. stadium. So when I got there, he introduced me to, to his coach. You know, um, after there, from there, I just began. everything began. I I started running. I become I became the number one in my school, and yeah. you know <laughs> that is when I started from. Yeah, that, that's, <laughs> those are very good stories. Yeah, yeah, Jerry. You know, we know we have the fastest Nigerian right now is Divine Oduro in 200 meters. Another boy, you, your second fastest. I mean, that's like uh, that's I mean three years right that we're having this kind of time. You're only 20.59 seconds. I mean. It's a good one, a remarkable one for you. How did you achieve this this year? Yeah, for me, it's, it's, it's been there so far. Like for the past couple of years, it's just been there. I've been really working hard in training. And for me and my coach, we've set a higher standard than wh where I'm at right now. And for me, the World Championship standard is still where I, I want to be and possibly the Olympic standards before the year comes to an end. But for me, I just know that it's been there. I'm happy for what Divine is doing for all of Nigerian athletics. And it's making us realize that we can also be on top. We can also be on one, two, three in the world. No matter where we are, here in Nigeria, in the U.S., there in Europe, we just need the right conditions, the right conditions and the right proper tutorship to get to where we want to get to. Yeah, you re represented Nigeria at the senior championships last year in Asaba. I know that you made the semis of the 200 and everything. And the 4 by 200 meters also, uh, you guys ran a national record of 1 minute, 22.08 seconds to qualify for the final. But then after that, I mean, after those races and all that, then you came to the national trials, the MOC, second Grand Prix and all that. After these races, any other one you've done that actually that is actually preparing you for the African Games? Yeah, um, 
as of now, I'm just walking towards what I have um, on ground. We really don't know um, what's next for the for the federation. Okay. Yeah, but but we just we just keep training and keep a positive mindset. Like um, if the camp is about to start for the All African Games, All and right. we're looking forward to to yeah, just keep training, okay. keep right. head straight, and yeah, make it to the All African Games. Emmanuel is twenty years old, fastest Nigerian this year in the four hundred meters. You're also the national champion. I mean, everyone is looking forward to the African Games, mm -hmm. which is the first one before we jump the guns and talk about the World Championships. Mm -hmm. You have expectations, right? So what are they? <clears throat> my expectation right now is to is to win a medal for my country, mm -hmm. um, to make my family proud, yeah. to make my my country proud. And I know when I got there, um, I'm going to run. I'm going to run my best. And yeah. yeah. You know, apart from the four hundred, uh, what other events do you do? And if you if you're going to a very <laughs> big event like the African Games, um. What other races should we be expected to see you in, apart from 4 by 4 4 by 4 Okay. Yeah, only 4 by 4 400 okay. and 4 by 4 yeah. You're not doing the lesser aspects? No, 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 no. <laughs> Maybe you're with this guy. You're against this guy over here. <laughs> no, no, no. no. They, are, they are already complete. They are complete. <laughs> no, Jerry, let me ask you, which is your strongest strength? I mean, sometimes you do the 100 meters. Yeah. And you do the 200. And yeah. I've seen you, you did, you've done 400 before, right? Yeah, yeah. So which is really your strongest? 200, yeah. 100, or 400? Yeah, for me, it's, uh, for now, based on my time, it's actually the 200. 200. Well, I love all my three events, and I'm looking forward the to three events, breaking grounds. 100, 200, and 400. Okay. Let me ask you, I think it's for both of you. Yeah. I've listened to athletes. You just asked you your best um, events and, and you talk, but some athletes will say, hey, well, I can't, know, I can't really say it's what my coach tells me. So yeah. do coaches actually know more than you guys? Can they, you know, I, I, you know you've talked about your opinion, which one are you thinking? But would you take your coach's advice? Or would you take his word above yours if he says, though you're running 200 now and it's good, but I think you're better at 100? Yeah, for, would, would it be your opinion or you would rather take what the coach say? Okay, um, <laughs> when we go for competitions, most yeah. times we have to sit down and have a little meeting, have a little chat with our coaches and the coach has to tell you what you are going to run at a specific meet. Mm -hmm. So you don't, as an athlete, if you're an athlete that works with a coach, you don't have to select your event. Once you're going for a meet, you have to ask your coach, what am I going to do in this yeah, meet? Because yeah. at every specific time, your coach might actually want something for you mm -hmm. that you can see yourself. Yeah. So that's why you have to get that from your coach. And whatever he says there, you just stick it. You stick it. <laughs> hey, Imano, uh, do you have some opinion about that? Uh, yeah, you're very silly, though. Yeah, yeah, okay. silly though. Okay, yeah. similar, same yeah. thing. Imano, you're going to be going for the regional uh, on the 20th uh, senior championship, right? Junior senior championship in Niger Republic later this month. How are you prepared for that? Um, according to my coach, just go there and enjoy yourself. Oh, really? Yeah. You don't have, have a specific pressure. target or anything? Um, it's to just go there and make my country proud. Uh, yeah. Proud just means? Win me that for me. I like that. Now, you guys go to school and everything. We know how difficult it can mm -hmm. be to combine for you books. to combine school and educa I mean, education, mm -hmm. and of course, athletics and all that. You're uniport, right? Yeah, I mean, uni -like. uni -like now. Yeah, okay, I mean, and you? -like. Yeah, about to, you're about to get it. So, I mean, I know it can be hard. How do you do it? Because I've had Joe do give the same question, you know. Mm -hmm. And she was like, she had to, you know, school in the morning and train later in the day. How is yours? How is it going? Yeah, for me, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's not been easy. Okay. It's not been easy. But my sponsors, um, um, the CEO of my club, um, my coach, DJ Aliyu, like they have been fantastic with the support, and the support has really pulled me um, this far, this quickly. And for me, I just look forward to keep doing it. Like like Joy rightly said, it's just about finding time, being devoted, and having less time for distractions and all 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 that. Just focusing when you have the time to go to school, you meet up. When you don't have the time, you try to get notes and get um permissions from sure. lecturers and all that. And when you're focused on athletics, just be 100% focused and give you everything so you get the best out of both of them. All right. That's before, interesting. Yeah, before we let you guys go, um, th th there's a question I'm going to ask both of you. Um, when this year ends and you look back, what are the things that you hope that before 2019 ends that you will have achieved in athletics? 
um, you, you know, when, you know, maybe on, on the 1st of 2020, as you're looking forward to the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, hopefully you guys will make it down there. What, what are the things you want to see uh, in 2019? I'd be happy that you've achieved. Let's start with Jerry. Uh, for me, okay. Um, when I went to Yokohama, I went to Japan for the world release beginning of the year, I just said to myself, I'm going to be back here for Tokyo 2020. And, and that's what I'm just looking forward to. I'm looking forward to the Olympic qualification mm -hmm. times before even the World Championships. Okay. I'm just looking forward to that. And at the African Games, I'm just looking forward to going there, my second individual um, performance for Nigeria. I'm just looking forward to now making the final and winning the medal there, at least coming in first before Divine or second before <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, Emmanuel, uh, what I think you hope that, okay, when 2019 is done, Okay, I've done this, I've done this, I've done that. Um, for me, um, I hope when I get there, I'll run, um, I'll run the World Championship Standard. Okay. And, uh, that's about all. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. I like that. Yeah. World Championship Standards, that's the mm -hmm. aim, right? That's the aim. African Games, can we get gold from you guys? Uh, you want to finish ahead of the event, so that means you're targeting gold already. <laughs> Settled. Emmanuel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know it's, it's hard. Yeah. Tell me something. <laughs> uh, my my hopes uh, my hopes are in the four by four. Okay. Okay, four yeah, by four. Four by four. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it's totally not in your hands anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you have oh, that's be, that, yeah. 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 I'm, I'm also looking, looking for four by four. Too. The four by one. Okay, okay four, four by one. one yeah, well. that's yeah. gonna be a huge. One hundred and two hundred. I mean, Mike share divine and you and all that man. We'll get something there. I think so. <laughs> well, thank you guys for coming on the program. Yeah, thank, thank you, you very much as well. Uh, thank you.